Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. My name is David from the Game Corner. Today we're going to be doing another reaction video. I was shocked at the upbringing of the last reaction video. I mean, yes, there weren't many looks or whatever, but a lot of people did view the video. And I'm shocked because of pretty much a lot of my other videos people haven't really watched. But this one is just getting an upbringing. I don't know what it is about it. Maybe it's because the ERB is new or whatnot. But you know what? I'm going to take that and I'm going to roll with it. And if this is my last reaction video, then it is what it is. But I may continue these. I don't know. They're pretty fun. So, what we're going to be reacting to today is Conan O'Brien does some gaming on his YouTube channel, Team Coco. They're called uh, Clueless Gamer. Because honestly, Conan doesn't know much about video games. So him and his co-partner Aaron Blair, along with a couple celebrities, um, have been helping him along the way. So in this episode, he gets a sneak peek at the upcoming game, Final Fantasy XV, and he has a special guest with him. So, without further ado, we're going to get right into this. Let's do it. Because we are getting a special early look at the newest chapter in one of the longest running video game series of all time, Final Fantasy XV. And joining me today, Elijah Wood. Thanks for doing this, Elijah. Yeah, you're a good man. And, uh, I know you're big into gaming. I am, yeah. I've been forewarned that this game is a little strange. <laughs> so this game takes place on an Earth-like planet called Eos. And basically on this planet, there is a, a magical crystal. Uh, always a crystal. And always, right? Yeah. I'm sorry, or a ring. But there's always a ring or a crystal. Or you must get the Stone of Ardus! <laughs> the Stone of Ardus! You will be uh, Prince Noctis Lucius Calum. Uh, your father, What's King... What's his name again? Prince Noctis Lucius Caleb. Don't ask him too many questions because he'll actually tell you. And then, uh, that's death. No, like you have to deliver a formal address. You know what this is? This is like Middle Earth Entourage. Isn't it? It is. They're like walking along and here comes their agent. Remember, good luck with your Japanese nightclub. <laughs> Wait, fancy car broke down? Right, right trigger, trigger push the car. Okay. What is this? We just were sent on a magical journey and we're pushing a car yep. to Las Vegas? Wait, is this really happening? Are we literally pushing a car through a desert? Why is this a game? I, I don't know, but that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. So this is where I struggle with RPGs, because it's a lot of just walking around, talking to folks. Can I buy a potion? Can I have any money? Do I have any credits? Money. I got no credits. This is, we're trapped in a, a Beckett play. There's nothing, <laughs> there's nothing that's going to happen. We're waiting for things that can't happen. I'd be happy to pay y'all for your services if you're up to the challenge. How oh. about it? Sounds like a journey. Nothing like running in the desert wearing leather. <laughs> what a journey. They look kind of like a boy band. It's the guys that are left from insane. This is what they do now, is draw in the desert and run. Yep, that's definitely insane. Justin will get back with us. Why does he call him he doesn't return our calls? This game should be called Wait for Your Death in Real Time. I'm getting further and further away from my car. And you'd be wise to rest up before we sat down. Good thing we wait, had that wait, cool wait. intent in our what leather jacket. What are the jacket. boots gear and the, the chips? They got a bag of chips? Those jackets have They, they pulled the, the, the pants. Well, I don't know. We just decided to move forward uh, because that part of the game was killing us. Because it was so riveting? Okay, and they're in Venice. This is Venice? So uh, at this point uh, in the game, the wedding uh, has been called off. Why? Why is the wedding um, being called off? Uh, a lot of political reasons, uh, but you're gonna walk over here and some ladies. You're gonna hear over here some ladies and then maybe uh, have a mission. They're extending the exhibit for Lady Lunafreya's wedding dress. Could that be the dress we read about in the papers? Devils. Wait, they read about a dress? <laughs> yeah, that's what guys or like to do when they're on their own. To go check out the dress. Let's go check out that dress <laughs> we heard read about in the papers. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> So Who good. came up with this? This is surreal. After we tie up all the loose ends, let's think about the ceremony. 
I've never, never been, been this confused by the <laughs> in my life. I'm never really saying something. Are we meant to be confused? No, I mean, it, if you play through it, it all makes sense. We're Not just kind of jumping around. around. It couldn't possibly make sense. Well, you know, the thing this is... This is a video, video game as written by James Joyce. <laughs> There's, it's just madness. So, hey, did the guy fix our car? He did, but instead of the car, uh, one of the great things about Final Fantasy that's in every game are these things called chocobos. Oh, did the chicken. I want to ride the chicken. So, why don't we get the car fixed and spend so much time getting the car fixed and we can just have we can get on a chicken and move around much more easily? I don't know. I don't know. This is an aggressive waste yeah. of time. Brought in them chickens, brought out in them chickens. There's some mysterious tremors in the area, and we're going to go investigate. Okay, why? Why is that our job? Well, why we're going to go meet with the seismologists. Okay. Oh, there he is, just waiting yeah. for us. It's Kevin Spacey and Angela Merkel. <laughs> oh, there's going to be some kind of beast, right? The earthquakes, there's going to be, it's going to be like, oh, shit. What? What, the f what is that, dragon? Wow. It's a really impressive beast. Could have started the game with this thing. <laughs> you keep doing this for a bit. I'm gonna be over here. Just facing the corner. Tell me when something happens. Something was happened. That, it? that was the battle? What? Well, did something happen? That's it. I don't really when, feel you, like when you actually feel a sense of accomplishment. That was just to, to suss him out. And then when you actually battle him, it takes three real days. What's the point of all this? <laughs> yeah. It seriously takes, takes three it takes real days? It takes 72 real-time hours to, to beat it. Like, this in a is, row. Why would someone play this? Why would someone play this game? <laughs> and then if you die, then you... I say no, sir. No. I say no, sir. Last time I beat on a worm for 72 hours, I was in college. Uh, we've been playing That's now good. longer than I've played any game for Clueless Gamer. We've been playing for a really long time. Is that true? This is the longest we've ever played a game. And we, I'm so I don't honored. even know, I don't know what we achieved. I don't know what we were trying to achieve. Mm -hmm. I have no sense of satisfaction. You just leave it on this right Yeah, here. leave it on this, because this, this is, sums up this game this perfectly. Perfect. A guy and a girl sitting on a bed in a motel chatting, yeah. nothing happening. This whole thing, it's like an epic Blue balls, waste of time. So if that's your thing, Final Fantasy XV comes out November 29th on Xbox One and PS4. Start it now. The people who made the game are outside, and I didn't realize they're watching this in real time. They're actually uh -oh. watching me now complain viciously about the thing when they got behind that door. And here's the beauty. The only way out of the room <laughs> is through that door. The only way out of the room is get to our car is to go back to our lives and see that door. And, we have, and they're still watching me. We have to face this. We have to face it. This, what's happening now, is more thrilling than anything that happened in this 15 million dollar game. Please, anyone out of the way, let's go outside and meet. Hello? You've been working on this game for seven months? So you helped build this, right? What's the f***ing purpose? <laughs> You're a murderer! Yes, <laughs> murderer of people's time! Babies will not be born because of you! Crops will not be brought in from the field! <laughs> That said, good job. Thanks to Elijah Wood. I love that guy. He's a good sport. Oh, man. Yeah. That. If you guys have not checked out uh, the coolest gamers yet, I highly recommend them. They are extremely hilarious. Honestly, I feel Conan O'Brien would fit perfectly. If he made, like, his own video game channel, I really feel he could fit as a video game commentator. A la Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, those type of guys. Honestly, he has the talent. If he plays them and starts to understand them, which, I mean, he is starting to understand them, but if he starts playing them more, I feel he'd actually be pretty good. I mean, he already is a comedian. And with this, with these little video game segments, they... They fit perfectly. They're hilarious. I think I pretty much watched all of them. No, I think I have watched all of them. Yeah. And honestly, they're all very good. So, yeah. I will leave the link, original link in the description down below for you guys to go watch the video. If you want to see it for yourselves. Um, yeah. 
and I'll leave also a link to his um, YouTube channel, Team Coco, in the description below as well. So, that does it for this reaction of Coolest Gamer, Final Fantasy XV, Conan O'Brien with Elijah Wood. My name is David from the Game Corner. Glad you could join me as we react to this video. If you did like, happen to like the video, why not give it a like and comment down below what other videos you would like me to react to in the future. And subscribe. Also, while you have the chance, it is free and easy to do. It takes about two seconds. So, I mean, what? You can take that out of your day. Hey, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.